Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk to you about how the Zencoder works. Uh, I am going to add some details uh, based on the previous video. So if you didn't watch the previous video, please go ahead and watch the previous video and come back. Alright, so now we know that uh, BERT basically uh, stacks up multiple encoders on top of each other. So I am having encoder 1 here and after so many encoders, we have some encoder n here. Uh, and we are we I only zoomed uh, in about the encoder one, so we'll focus on this so that I don't make the board clumsy. Okay, now inside we know that uh, this encoder will encoder one will have attention head and then followed by feed forward network. Uh, so this encoder is basically represented with the letter capital L, right? And this the attention head. The attention head is basically the self attention. And that is also sometimes called as attention head and sometimes called as multi attention. So everything means the same. Basically, it tries to capture the relationship of a word with the other words in the same sentence. All right. So this is basically captured. Uh, this is basically represented with the uh, letter A. And then we have the feed forward network. The feed forward network basically has a lot of hidden neurons and hidden layers. Right. So basically, because of that hidden, it is represented by the letter H, capital H. All right. Now we know that we have some input sentence over here. So this input sentence is now sent into the attention head and inside a single encoder there can be multiple attention heads. So in this case I have just uh, drawn only one attention head but in certain cases there can be 10 attention heads, there can be 12 attention heads or there can even be 24 attention heads. All right. And then that is followed by a feed forward network and in this feed forward network there can be 700 uh, hidden neurons or 1000 hidden neurons or whatever the things are. So these are all are the things that that capture the different configurations of BERT. All right, and then uh, we'll have multiple encoders like this. And how many encoders will be there? And that is also depends. There are some in some cases that can be six encoders, and in some cases that can be twelve encoders. And uh, we'll we'll see all these types in the upcoming videos too. And uh, since we got uh, the input sentence here, it will go through all these uh, different different layers, and it will it will come out with different representations. For example, here we'll have a representation for R. Sorry, for he. So R here uh, denotes the representation and R uh, uh, in the subscript we write he which means this is the representation of, the representation of the word he and after that uh, we will have a representation for God and then we got we have the representation for bit and then we get the representation for by and finally we get the representation for Python. Okay, so here uh, from the input sentence, we got representation of every single sentence, every single word in the sentence. So this uh, this word would carry some contextual information of the other words too, how it relates to the other words in the sentence. So similarly, by, bit, got, and he. So ultimately, what I'm trying to say is that Bert basically gives just the representation of the input sentence and we need to fine tune on top of BERT for any NLP task that we need to do. But BERT is just a representation. So you can see here, it's just a representation. It does not do any task by itself. So it just gives the representation of the input sentence. It, it, is, it, 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 it just understands the pragmatic meaning of the sentence and gives out uh, the, the, the representation for the words. Uh, so we know what transformer is, we know what representation is, and we know what encoder is. But what is bidirectional? Here, the encoder here basically reads the sentence, reads the input sentence in both the directions. So it comes, uh, it reads the sentence from left to right, and also it reads the sentence from right to left. So it, since it reads the sentence in both the directions, we attach this bidirectional here. So we we have bidirectional encoder representation of transformers. Got it. So. In the next video, I am going to talk to you about different configurations of board. Till that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.